Hey guys, this is uh, JP Freeman from uh, New Hampshire Regional Cop Block. And uh, Keen Cop Block and CopBlock.org. Um, some of you guys may know me in the in the movement um, of being a uh, part of the uh, you know the uh, the cop block panel and going around and having 400 something vi videos um, going after the police uh, till like the wee hours in the morning and now I do these mini casts and today I want to touch on something that disturbed me greatly in in the movement as you well know that I I married to an FSP early mover. Jessica Phillips, who's part of FSP Free State Project, and uh, we have mutual friends um, on uh, both sides of the keel. And some some people don't agree with other things, but I saw something very very uh, disturbing. It was a petition, and people are signing this petition to try to ostracize ostracize somebody for um, not hurting anybody, not physically touching them, or stealing their property. And it is basically ideas uh, or sharing uh, personal things about a certain idea, and it's all victimless. Uh, by no means am I sticking up for it, or do I stand for uh, pedophilia. Um, I have uh, daughters, I have two stepdaughters, and I also have two daughters myself, so I, I understand uh, the, the moral compass of how the United States. Um, traditionally, in, in the traditional laws, have made us adults think automatically that 14-year-olds don't have freedom to make their own choices. Um, who the hell are we to say that? Because there's like 200-something other countries that actually don't have any age limits at all um, inside their, uh, you know, their, um, you know, their structure. That being said. Um, do I want a 30 year old to be with my 14 year old? Absolutely not. Um, but am I going to ostracize someone or hate on somebody because he does? He feels that a 14 year old should have their own view and freedom and freedom of choice? No. Am I going to sign a petition to ostracize, forcefully ostracize him from a movement that's supposed to be revolved around freedom? No. I'm having a huge problem with this petition um, and everybody in it. In fact, there's some Christians, and I'm a Christian, there's some Christian brothers and sisters I've seen in here that I'm friends with that actually signed this petition. It actually makes me sick to my stomach. And uh, does Ian Freeman actually say some things that make me shriek? Hell yeah. Um, are they victimless? Absolutely. Has he physically hurt anybody? Unless you can come up with some proof of a, a video or or an allegation of him actually being with somebody that actually has been hurt by any of his actions, you need to come forward. Um, other than that, you just need to keep your mouth shut. But to sign a petition with a group of a, a clique of people saying, I don't like this, and I don't like this, and I don't like this, so I'm signing this petition. Let's ostracize them and speak for a movement and say, okay, FSP should just butt him out, and let's just ostracize LRNFM, let's ostracize Free Keen, let's ostracize Free Talk Live. To do that is just ludicrous. Um, and basically boils down to one known fact about this whole entire thing. You're a fucking statist. If you sign a petition that forcefully removes somebody from anything, if you think you have the power and you have the authority to go ahead and remove somebody from a freedom movement or remove them from freedom to make their own choice to do something or be a part of something, that makes you a statist. It's statism in, in, in its best form. Um, do I know everything about the, the, the non-aggression principle and all that stuff? No, but I do know statism because I go after status on a daily basis and have spent countless hours tracking down police and making them and holding them accountable and speaking at the, at the state house against bills and for bills that affect our freedom and, and protect our freedom. Now, that being said, where do we sit now? 
did any of these people, anybody that has a problem with somebody, and, and I'm reading my, my wall, and I told people, your status if you sign this. A bunch of people said some things. Um, preferably Mary Porcher. I'm going to specifically target that name because she mentioned something about uh, Snowden being recorded. Now, first of all, my thoughts and my feelings and my personal feelings on Snowden, if you want to treat this guy as like this biggest hero in the world, go right ahead. But what I see and what other people see are two different things. Plain and simple, the Fed is now using more hidden tactics and more hidden techniques to come after us and to impede on our rights because of Snowden. So in fact, he hurt us more than he helped us. That's basically my opinion, and, and I'm just going to stick to it. Now, he, he, he had this big thing where he spoke on a simulcast screen using Google Hangouts at uh, Liberty Forum. Okay? Liberty Forum was in Manchester a few weeks back, and I guess he was one of the speakers through simulcasts, and, and uh, I guess people were asked not to record. The allegation, which I don't know is true or not, is that Ian Freeman ended up video recording. I know Garrett, um, Garrett Ian recorded, but I'm not sure if Ian did or not. I wasn't there, so who, what do I know? Do I think we should have been able to record him? Absolutely. Would it hurt him? Either way, absolutely not. He's already fucked. Um, that's my opinion. Um, because the Fed has unlimited resources come after us unless we actually band together and start going against it. Now, something like this petition draws this big fine line in the middle of freedom and splits it and ultimately causes dissension and ultimately causes non-peaceful reaction to remove somebody by force. Most of the people in this petition have their own gripe and that's basically, I don't want to specifically target Mary Porcher, but she had a gripe of him video recording Snowden and she was offended by it. Well, oh well, grow the fuck up and be an adult. He didn't hurt anybody. So who the hell cares what his choice was to video record someone that's not you, um, that's made everything public already. He made that decision, he made that choice, let, let that axe fall where it may. Are you going to sign a petition because of it? Well, you did. Okay, this petition basically says, oh, let's just ostracize this person, remove him from a movement of freedom, even though this forcefully removes you from freedom, and goes against pretty much everything that the, the movement is for. And, and looking from the outside in, not being an FSP movement, because I was here before FSP in New Hampshire, uh, most of the people on this petition are all control freaks to begin with. Um, you have Dale Everett, who basically... Uh, scummed me and me and uh, me and my wife out of a deal said uh, he basically offered a house to us after we spent all day cleaning it he removed it by trying to use a status tool to try to come against us um, basically Dale Everett said I needed to fill out a background check a status background check and I asked him who was doing the background check he he refused to tell me so he ended up backing out of that contractual deal that he already made uh, good on he did pay us for the cleaning though so thank you for that um, but what I learned afterwards he it basically has anchor LLC which basically rented out that house and he ended up evicting a woman and her child all because she didn't tell him about another child which goes against New Hampshire familial laws um, and basically you can look that up at 8 District Court Keene it's Anchor Investments against uh, Verse, I forgot the lady's name, but he basically evicted her for no reason, not for non-payment. Uh, basically, he's a fucking douchebag. Um, he's been a douchebag to me, and he comes out with a bunch of lies on a 13-year-old article of, of, about me wearing one of my uniforms um, back 13-something years ago that I got fined a fine for, which was an unauthorized use of a military uniform, and they want to come up with this impersonation bullshit um, which never really happened, um, which is just uh, the God's honest truth. 
Um, anyways, but if he wants to fall back on something, he shouldn't even be offended about. Let him be a fucking little bitch ass child, and and so be it. But anyways, you have other gripes, um, like Amanda Bolden. She's a rep, and she runs Shire Sharing. And during Shire Sharing, um, we offered our house because we actually did the VIP dinners here for Keen Invention. I mean, my wife cooked like for over 300 people, so we had the capacity to deal with all the uh, the baskets and stuff for Thanksgiving and the day before we were supposed to get ready for that she basically said I don't want nothing to do with Keem because I'm the bossy boss so these are the type of people that are signing this petition the basically bureaucrats status that want to control the movement and control the board so they can basically have their idea about uh, freedom that's not what I think freedom is supposed to be. This is why I only do cop lock, because cop lock is straightforward, it's decentralized, they don't have no head, no board, no association of uh, people governing people. When you have a president, and when you have an association or a board, you have power struggles, period, end of story. It's not freedom, okay? that's uh, basically preempting a strike against freedom because somebody's gonna get pissed off, ticked off, and they're gonna get together, sign a petition to start actually controlling the whole thing to begin with. I'm not concerned about what the facts are with them having against e Ian Freeman. They should take it to him. But this petition is absolutely bullshit. I'm gonna post this on my YouTube channel. Tell me what you think. And uh, look at the facts. Look on freeking.com. Um, if you're part of the Liberty Movement, look on some of the threads and look at this idiotic petition that basically is a petition of force with a bunch of people that want to aggress towards a person for basically disagreeing with them without harm, no foul. So there you have it. I'm J.P. Freeman from New Hampshire Regional Cop Block. And uh, coplock.org and Keen Cop Block. Visit the YouTube channel, see the up latest videos, hit a like, hit the like button, and uh, subscribe. Everybody subscribe to the channel because we need more people to watch these police officers all around the state and all around the uh, New England area and the East Coast. And uh, I'll hit you up again. We're out last night. We're going to go out again tonight, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side. And uh, peace to freedom, always, and peace to peace. And uh, that's basically where we should stand. Love, peace, and harmony, right? Not petitions that forcefully remove people from freedom movements, which makes no sense. Kind of negates itself, don't you think? Fucking idiots.